Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're continuing on with the AP Physics uh, free response question. And so let's take a look at what this one's about. Again, these are from old free response questions because we've already gone through the current, um, um, all the videos currently covered all the released AP Physics 1 exams. So this is sort of from Physics B, but you should still be able to do these problems. And this is still like really good practice. So a 10 kilogram block rests initially on the table as shown in cases one and two above. The coefficient of sliding friction between the block and the table is 0.2. Sliding friction, that's interesting. We, we call this kinetic friction now. The block is connected to a cord of negligible mass, which hangs over a massless frictionless pulley. In case one, a force of 50 newtons is applied to the cord. In case two, an object of mass five kilograms is hung at the bottom of the cord. Use g equals 10 meters per second squared. Calculate the acceleration of the 10 kilogram block in case one. Okay, uh, straightforward enough. Um, this 50 newtons translates over to here. So this one is also 50 newtons. So um, because all it's doing is redirecting the force. So let's look at um, the free body diagram on case one. Yeah, case one. I have um, the 50 newtons there. I got mg, which is 10 times 10, it's 100 newtons down. And then I got friction here. Oh, I got a normal force here, which is also equal to 100 newtons. Because it's not accelerating in the vertical direction, his net force in the vertical direction must be zero. Um, and then this is mu n, which is equal to 0.2 times 100, or 20 newtons. Okay, so his net force horizontally is 30 newtons, and the x direction is 30 newtons, and that equals 10 kilograms times its acceleration. F equals ma, so a is equal to 3 meters per second squared. Okay, on case two, draw the label on the forces in the block case. Okay, so this guy's got tension acting on it. He's got 100 mg here. He's got uh, the normal force and then the force of friction here. Okay, and then this guy has got mg also. And this mg, by the way, is 5 times 10 is 50 newtons. And he's got tension here. And this is 100 newtons. Okay, and the normal force here must be 100 newtons, right? Because in the y direction, if there was a net force in the y direction, it means that they must be accelerating at some portion in the y direction, right? Which is not what's happening. Force of friction is mu n, which is um, 20 newtons. So in this case, you're going to find everything is the same. Well, let's take a look. Um, this mass is changing it. So let's let's do the free body. Let's do the net force on this this equation. The y direction is zero. Um, his net force in the x direction, if right is to the positive direction, because that's the way he's going to move, it's t minus 20 newtons. And that has to equal to 10 kilograms times a. Force equals mass times acceleration. Which mass? The mass of the object that you're applying all the forces on. Okay. So a, uh, wait, so, so a I can solve for, it's t minus 20 over 10. Right, but I don't know what T is. So then I gotta look at this block here. His net force, he's got a force down, it's mg minus T. And that has to equal his five kilograms times A also. Now the problem is is um um okay, well so let's do this mg. This is fifty newtons minus T equals five times five kilograms times a. Now not the problem but the relationship is these two accelerations have to be the same because again these are moving in tandem not again but these are moving in tandem so um, the the net force has the acceleration has to be the same between the two because one can't be like moving faster than the other one right that the rope would break okay so um, here we can solve well let's let's look at we have this equation here and we have this equation here and I can solve for t and plug it into here, right? This is t is equal to 50 
minus 5a, and I plug it into here, so I get 50 minus 5a minus 20 equals 10a. So 15a is equal to 30, and so a is equal to 2 meters per second squared. Okay, now why do we get a different answer? Um, this is a key part, right? Like this, this, sh this is 50 newtons. Isn't this doing 50 newtons also? Isn't it exerting the same force? Yes, but um, this mass requires some energy, some some it, it, it requires some force to move this this mass, right? It's not a massless thing. So what ends up happening is the tension is different. The tension in this guy is 50 newtons because this force translates all the way to here. But here, what's happening is the tension, we can solve for it, it's 50 minus two times five. Uh, so the tension would be 50 minus 10 or 40 newtons. See, we have less tension in this rope, even though it's acting on the force, uh, acting because of gravity. So um, that's what that's what makes the problems different. It, initially, even I thought before I did the math, like I thought, oh, I think we're gonna get the same answer. But I, I have forgot to consider that this five kilograms um, require, you know, it will slow down the acceleration, right? So I hope you uh, found that helpful to look at those problems and set up the free body diagrams. Um, thank, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.